guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm sharing with you Leo's nursery. I've been meaning to do this video for so long, so apologies that it's a bit delayed. Um, I'm basically gonna be sharing with you the process of fixing up the room, as well as what it looks like now. So when I cut to footage, it's gonna be, gosh, when did we start? I feel like it was maybe summer last year. Um, and then it did take like a couple of months to get it all finished. And, you know, we repainted, took off wallpaper, Dan did some paneling, and then also the furniture as well. Um, so I will show you as much footage as I have, as well as a kind of um, before of the whole room, as well as what it looks like now. I will try and link everything up um, in the description section. Hopefully I'll cover everything. If I miss anything out, then let me know in the comment section and I will try and get those links for you and yeah I hope you enjoy so the next footage that you'll see will be from summer last year okay so filming a little before of the nursery it's kind of in progress it's not a proper before but to be honest it was all filled with junk not that it isn't right now um but it'll give you an idea um, so we have one piece of furniture delivered which is this chair currently covered in all kinds of random bedding um, here are lots of drawers, as you can see. Um, we have the radiator cover, which was there before, and we've begun to paint, and we've only just painted there because we have blinds being fitted next week, um, and we didn't have time to paint the rest, so it was literally a case of paint what we need to, just so we don't dirty the blinds, and then tackle everything else later. Um, and then spanning round. So we are in the middle of dismantling this. Well, not dismantling, but this is the IKEA day bed that we had here before really useful we had one in our old place as well um it's just a single day bed which goes up to a double so really really useful for people staying um but we obviously needed to move because it's going to be the nursery so this is going to move into the box room but it's too big to fit through the door so we need to try and dismantle it um, and make it a bit lighter as well because it's also ridiculously heavy so we are in the middle of trying to do that without dismantling it all so it's hopefully fairly easy to put that together not sure whether it's going to be successful because I feel like Ikea stuff is great when you love Ikea, but whenever you dismantle it, I always feel like it's never quite the same, um, but we'll see, fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, the cot will go there, changing table there, and we also need to remove all of this wallpaper too. So a little progress update on the nursery, um, so you can see that things are kind of coming along. Um, so we do have the blinds installed. Um, we did that before we actually painted, which probably not the best idea, um, but it is what it is. And then um, we have painted and then we've removed the wallpaper as well. So before we had a kind of sparkly dark grey wallpaper, um, which I didn't really love. So we've just gone really neutral. Um, this is a very, very light grey slash off-white. Um, I think it probably looks a bit more grey because of the carpet, but yeah, it's just kind of freshened it up and just brightened the whole room up. So I'm really happy with the colour. And then you may be able to see from what's on the floor, but Dan is about to get going with the panelling. We have a few random bits and pieces, so a lampshade that I have to return because I don't really like the color of the pattern. But we do have the lamp base and then what is the world's most enormous um, nursing pillow, <laughs> which I didn't realize it was going to be that size, um, but it's really cute, so I think I might keep it anyway. Um, and then my little hot air balloons, some books and everything, all these things are waiting to go up. Um, but we have the nursery furniture arriving tomorrow, so. Dan has to get cracking on the panelling, basically. Um, we did build a little toy chest as well. I'm not entirely sure where that's gonna go. I just popped on some blankets and some um, pillows and things like that. So we are slowly getting there, but um, it's definitely slow progress. All right, so we are having to undo a bit of the data rail because we haven't got the height quite right, but the first bit is on, it needs to be lowered a bit, but it looks look so cute. has finished up the panelling and the no more nails is on as well as actually kind of nailing it in so it all should be pretty secure. Finished up the last little bit on this wall and I think it's looking amazing I'm so excited. So we need to do a little bit of caulking um, and then painting and then the kind of uh, base decoration I guess is done. progress yesterday 
um, which I'm so happy about. I'm so happy with how it's turning out. Um, so we haven't put up the hot air balloons yet. We need to get invisible tape or invisible string for those. Um, but we kind of put things back. We still have all our tools because we aren't quite done. Um, but I feel like the room is beginning to take shape. The main bits of furniture are built as well. So we have the cop here. It's a slightly better angle. I absolutely love the cot. I think it's so pretty. It is more on the large side, but it converts into a toddler bed, which I really liked. And then we have the chest of drawers, which isn't completely done because I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but the bottom two drawers are a little bit funky. So we need to fix that. And then obviously put on handles, um, changing table or changing um, trays at cord uh, hasn't arrived yet. So I've just kind of put the mat on. And then obviously we haven't done anything with the walls yet, apart from paint, um, but we have things arriving for that too. So it is beginning to take shape. I love the paneling as well. Dan did such a good job. We need to touch up here and there um, on the door frame. I think we nicked it, but overall it is coming together and I'm so excited. <laughs> little stuffed toys there and then we also got the wall stickers up as well so i'm going to start in this corner of the room um since that's where kind of the main area is i guess um we have the cot there which is actually it converts into a toddler bed and it was definitely a bit more expensive than some of the other cots i saw um but i love the fact that you know we could get just more use out of it by converting it so that's really what sold me and there's a bit of under um, bed storage there as well which i'll show you in a second uh, leo hasn't transitioned uh, to the cot yet but we will be attempting that in the next couple of weeks and uh yeah, I'm a bit nervous, but if you have any tips, send them my way because I'm sure I could do with them all. Um, I have a little jungle gym right there, which to be honest is just there because I didn't really have any other place to put it. Um, but actually my mum used it quite a lot with Leo. Um, so that was the jungle gym that we used when he was first born. We have the lovery playset now, um, which we prefer for the kind of this age, but for the first month or so, I'd say he preferred this one. I think it was just a bit a bit smaller, a bit less overwhelming, um, and so it's just a really, really nice one. Um, so yeah, it's really, really cute. Uh, this one has like a little mirror right there so they can see themselves. Leo is absolutely obsessed with his reflection, so even if he's really, really crying, um, show him a mirror and he just calms down. You have a little rattle, and then just a really nice little mat. Um, so yeah, this has actually been a really, really good buy, and I didn't think we'd still be using it, um, but my mum actually does use it all the time still, so would definitely recommend, especially if you're short on space because the lovely one is great, but it's definitely quite large. Whereas this one actually has quite a small footprint. So this is the drawer. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's not the smoothest to get in and out of, but it's a very decent size, which I absolutely love. Uh, we use it to store kind of spare sheets and swaddles, that sort of thing. I also have this gorgeous blanket here. This was actually hand knitted, which is crazy because it looks store bought, right? Like it's so good. This was hand knitted for him by someone I met through my channel, actually. She's the nicest, nicest lady. And she hand did this. It is so stunning. So it's blue with all these kind of little multicolor flecks. Absolutely gorgeous. Leo unfortunately did spit up on it one time. And since then, I've been a bit scared to use it because I haven't wanted to ruin it. Um, so yeah, I keep it really safe. And then if I think he's having a very non-spit up day, this is the one I'll use, but it's basically like one of my most treasured things. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, but yeah, this is the drawer. Um, but in general, we've been very, very happy with the cot so far. The stickers came from Etsy and they definitely weren't like super cheap, but the quality is absolutely amazing. Um, I've been so happy with them. And the best thing is, is that they are completely removable as well. So one that takes the pressure off when you're trying to put them on, but also if you wanted to switch things up, you could move them around, you can move them to a different room if you wanted to. And they're just fantastic, like really, really lovely. And it just kind of looks like they're painted on. So it has this really pretty watercolor effect. And then it's the whole set. So you got the little leaves as well. I did add the bunting, um, but everything else that you see in terms of the monkeys, um, the greenery, the animals, everything, that all came as part of the set. And that's the whole view of it. In this 
corner of the room um, has his changing table and then a little chest of drawers. So I did actually buy a changing mat for on top of there, but we're currently using it upstairs, which is where he's sleeping with us. Um, so when he transitions, I will move that down. But at the moment, it is just being used to store um, a few little soft toys. So this was another adorable little gift. Got like a little moon, some clouds, um, and then just a couple of products and his name right there. I just have a little circular mirror, which is very, very useful for when we're trying to get him to sleep and then he decides to throw a tantrum instead. Again, mirrors, just saving the day all the time. Um, and then I have this really, really cute um, animal alphabet framed print. Here I just have a chest of drawers. Um, so I kind of keep fairly on top of this in terms of his current sizing. Um, so any time that he goes up size, I basically do a clear out so that all the sizes in there are kind of correct so that when, you know, there is a Poonami explosion then you can just grab one, you're not like checking the different sizes. Um, it's not like super, super pristine, um, but I kind of keep things like rolled up and semi-organized. I just got these little um, organizer things, I think from Amazon, I want to say. Um, and then yeah, I just kind of roll up his, his onesies and sleep suits. Um, he mainly kind of wears sleep suits just because I cannot be faffed with trousers and tops and he hates having things like pulled over his head. He has a really big head, bless him. Um, so things often get stuck and it's just not the one. So we really rely on like zip up things that can kind of go over his body rather than over his head. Um, just some little cloths there, blanket, that sort of thing. And then in the other corner of the room, um, I do have our little hot air balloons. We got our blinds installed there. Um, and then we have just a few little play things. Um, so we have a little elephant, soft toys, little toy chest, and a lamp there as well. So we have the hot air balloons here, which I am so happy about. We just um, tied those up with invisible string. We were supposed to touch up the ceiling, but that is 100% one of those projects that I just don't think we're ever gonna get around to, um, but it's pretty minor, so it's fine. Um, but I love these. I think they are so cute and just make the nursery look and feel a little bit more magical. I have um, a little lamp there, which I don't think we have ever used, to be perfectly honest with you. And then this is actually the very first thing that I bought Leo. Um, so I bought this literally, I think two weeks after, because we were at Disney two weeks after I found out I was pregnant. Um, and that's his birthday. I just have a little toy chest right there with two furry friends on top. And then also this adorable little elephant rocker. So this is actually the first thing I bought um, in terms of major pieces for the nursery. I know it's not super major, but um, I saw it on Pottery Barn kits and I thought it was so adorable. So that was a very, very early purchase. And that kind of dictated um, the rest of the nursery in terms of more of like an animal safari theme. And on the other side of the radiator cover, we just have this adorable little lion um, and some little building blocks saying Leo. The other side of the room, we have his little reading nook um, and then this glider chair too. The doors don't match because we're in the process of switching out the brand doors the white ones but it just takes ages because everyone is so booked up um but yeah we love this little nook and this chair has been the best buy ever so both of these are from pottery barn kids and we love them both um side table really really useful and then the glider is so crazy comfortable would highly recommend i'm um, definitely more of a big purchase but we use it pretty much every single day leo loves it as well so easy to get him to sleep in it and it's just wonderful. Like everyone loves the chair. Dan loves it. I love it. My mum loves it. Everyone's like, it's the best thing ever. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend we've been thrilled with it. Here's a little reading nook right here. Um, a total random mix of books. Some of these were gifted from friends. Um, so I bought myself just a total mix. And then um, the shelves we have are just like clear acrylic ones. Really nice, um, very neutral, but yeah, I just love this little corner. Finally, I have his little name print right here. Just says Leo with lots of animals, very in keeping with the rest of his nursery. I didn't order this one until um, he was born and arrived safely. I only ordered it the first week he was born. Um, but yeah, I love how it turned out. So that is his nursery. I'm so happy with how it turned out. It has exactly the kind of vibes that I was hoping for in terms of just really like calm and serene, like a really nice place for him to go. And we did make sure that the blinds are blackout as well. Really, really important, obviously, for a baby's room. Um, so this room does get completely like pitch black dark um, and he just naps so well in here. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this is going to continue for his nighttime naps. Um, but yeah. I am super happy with it. Dan did a great job with the panelling as well. And yeah, it's just pretty much exactly how I hoped it would turn out. 
So yeah, that is the whole room. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions for me, then leave me a comment down below and I'll try and get back to you. I'll try and link up what I can in the description section. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one.